and welcome to Vinnie Braun Demonstrations. I'd like to introduce our polyurethane range, our two component polyurethane range. We have primer and we have finishing paint. The finishing paint comes from a full gloss all the way down to a 10% sheen. We've also here, we have our spray gun, we have our paint preparation and we have some discs. And also we have this door which we just walk through the process of sanding, priming and then finish painting. Okay, I'm just going to remove the, the handle and the hinges. Then what we're going to do is we're going to degrease the door, we're going to remove any, any grime or dirt that's on the surface, we're going to sand it. In, in this particular panel, it's not bad, I'm going to hit it with P240 grit, which will be fine. I'll uh, clean it off and then that'll get ready for the next stage, which will be the priming stage. Okay, I'm going to use a solvent panel wipe. I'm going to use the process of wiping on and wiping off. So basically, I'm going to wipe on with a wet cloth. And while the surface is still wet, I'll dry it off with that. The surface is quite good in this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to key it in with P240 grit, so it's not too rough, I'm not going to give myself lots of work here as such. Uh, it's different from wood to wood, this is a hard wood. If you're using soft woods or even MDFs and all that, you, you may need to use a slightly coarser grit. I'm now going to degrease it again. What I've done there is I've uh, sanded it with 240 grit, I've cleaned the surface again, I've, I've degreased it again, so I've removed any sand and dirt, whatever. Um, another thing I won't mention at this point is you should always do a check if you're painting something that has been previously painted or lacquered or varnished in this case, they may have used a cheap product before that hasn't fully cured, so if you go ahead and paint it, you may have paint reactions and paint problems. A way around that is just to do a simple little test in the corner, see if you get a reaction, any, any problems with swelling or anything like that. If you do, you must remove that clear coat, that varnish, it must come off. So that means a lot more sanding and using maybe nitrocellulose thinners to completely remove the old coat. Okay, so now we'll move on to the priming process. Okay, again we're using our FPP, our fast paint preparation. I'm going to put a liner in. The two component primer is a two to one mix. Two parts primer, one part hardener. You can then add polyurethane thinners to it, 10%. Sometimes you'll need to do it in the summertime if, if you find the product is just drying too quick for you, you're not getting a wet edge. Okay, we have our mixing ratio here. We're going to go with two to one. And if necessary, there's a slot there for thinners between 10 and 20%. So we're going to pour our product up to the two mark and keep them with the same number up to the two. That'll give us a correct ratio of a hardener. And then up again if you want to add thinners.
Okay, I'm just going to put a face mask on now and turn on the extraction. But basically what we want to do is we want to spray at approximately two bars. We've applied our first coat of primer. Now there's, there's two approaches to this. One we can do this, we can put one full coat on, let it dry for about four or five hours, come along and sand it down with P240 grit, okay? Uh, have a look at it and see does it need another coat of primer. If it does, then we repeat the whole process again. Uh, in the case of this, it's a hardwood. It's, it's, the fibers I know aren't gonna pop up as much as say softwoods would. So what I'll do here is I'll only give it about 10, 15 minutes to flash off. So a lot of the solvents will evaporate from it. I'll give it another full coat, then leave it for four hours, then sand it, and then straight away move on then to the painting process. The primer's now dry. We've given it four hours to dry. I did what I said before. I gave it a double coat. I waited about 10 or 15 minutes, and then lashed another coat onto it. Um, as I said before, it is a hard wood, so it's not going to give me the same issues as soft wood would with the amount of fibers that would stand up. Because I'm only doing a door, normally I'd use a sander, I'm just going to use a hand pad, so I'm just going to give it a flick down with P240 grit sandpaper. Okay, I've given it a light sand. You can see that by sanding, it's a light powder that's coming on to the, the abrasive pad. Uh, that's a sign that uh, the primer's fully dried, no issues. If you see little ball, these body marks, different things coming into it, uh, and you start to see piggy tails in the surface, you know that you have an issue. That primer hasn't cured correctly, so you need to investigate further there to see what's happened. Maybe it's a case that you may have not have given it long enough to dry, or you've used excessively heavy coats of primer. In that case, it slows the process right down. You may need to give it 24 hours before you can actually sand it. Now we're ready to, uh, to, to put our paint on a PU top coat. Um, this has been lightly sanded with 240 grit. I've, I've panel wiped it degrees to get removed any sand and dust around that I have on it. Now we're going to move on to the process of mixing the, the, uh, the 2K polyurethane. Uh, again, it's uh, two to one. The primer was two to one. Paint's two to one. It's a simple uh, mixing ratio to remember. Always make sure and leave lids on. Uh, it, with hardness, if moisture gets into them, it'll set them off. It'll shorten the life. Mixing ratio, two to one. Now, we're ready to uh, apply our top coat. Again, same as before, we want to spray a two bar. So we just need a half trigger, so there's no paint coming out, we're just half triggering, and we're at the two bar mark.
Okay, we finished now. We applied a double coat of the, the finishing PU paint. Um, it's dry now, it's a 10% sheen. It's a nice, tough, durable finish. It was easy to use. Um, it's worth mentioning, a lot of people use a one component primer and put a PU2K over the top. It's not really the recommended thing to do. It does work, people do do it. Um, all the manufacturers will re always recommend if you're using a two component paint, use a two component paint underneath it. Um, it's it's going to last a lot longer, it's going to look a lot better. You're less likely to get paper marks because with the one component primers they tend to sink over a week or so. So a job may look quite well in the workshop but when you get it out onto site or into someone's house and the light is shining on it you may start to see paper marks and that's usually down to using a one component primer and a 2K paint over the top of it. Thank you. If you have any further questions, please contact an advisor at vinnieborn.com or alternatively email sales at vinnieborn.com.